What's up guys? It's been a while since I recorded a video. I, after I made that pin video, I ended up moving to Dallas. So I've been trying to get settled in and just, you know, getting a good flow of things. So today I figured what I'll do is instead of working on one of my projects, I would just take a break and work on something new, just something fun. Not to really put out, but just to have fun and get back into recording and programming and yeah. So I'll tell you guys more about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and we found this cool one. I've been there once, it's pretty nice. But the idea for the app is simple. It's when we were kids and we did something good, we would get a pat on the back and that made us feel good and then we would keep doing the good stuff. So then now I'm like, you know what, as an adult, sometimes I do something good and I'm just like, it'd be nice to get a little pat on the back so that I keep doing that. Meaning like, let's say I work out today or I'm trying to save money, right? So then let's say I hold back on buying something, right? I'd, I'd wanna just be able to like keep track of that. So that way maybe at the end of the year or end of the week or whatever, I could see like how many times I did something good in my eyes. How many times did I not spend money? Or how many times did I work out? How many times did I read? Whatever. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And it's a little different from a habit tracker because with habit trackers, there's like a certain number of times you want to do this thing a day. And this isn't supposed to be like that. This is just supposed to be like, hey, to me, I did a good thing. I just want to remember that I did this thing. So I'm going to start off really simple a list of things some things that I want to refrain from some things that I want to do more of and then whenever I do one of those things I just check it off all right so I'm gonna head out to the coffee shop now I'm gonna meet my friends on the first floor then they'll drive me because I hate driving and then we'll see how this goes. I don't know what to call it. Maybe like Pat or something. Ciao. Should've taken what? Yeah. All right, just got to the coffee shop. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a design. I don't really wanna just build something without having some kind of design to it. So I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on this, but I'm just gonna find something that I like and then go from there. Alright, so I found a nap that I'm going to use as a reference. It seems pretty good so far. It's pretty thorough. It's for a whole habit tracker, which I'm not going to use a lot of it. But I like the way they're creating a habit looks. And I like the way they're, like, they have these, like, cards and challenges. And I like that stuff. So I'm going to try to piggyback off that and see what I can build. I just decided since I'm going to be just trying to have fun today and do something new, maybe I should try to learn Swift again. So that means I'm not going to make as much progress as I wanted to because I'm going to be trying to learn Swift while building this new thing, but that'll be more fun. I need to work that muscle of learning something completely new again. I've tried it once before last year. so. 
but Swift has changed a lot since I first used it. So we'll see how it goes. So, just finished up, I'm gonna go eat. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to just because I was learning Swift, but I can see a list of reminders and I'm working on being able to create them now. So, yeah, now we're gonna go eat. Yeah, now we're gonna go eat. <laughs> <laughs> So, done eating, gonna hide back on it now. I'm just following along with a tutorial on how to create a clone of a Reminders app. I figured I could start there, follow along with something, learn Swift UI, and I've been chatting with ChatGPT too, which is just helping to explain some of the concepts. So I'm gonna keep hitting it. After I do that, then maybe I'll play with the styling if I have time. Today's just about learning something new. It didn't go as planned. I thought I was gonna do it in Flutter, but it's still fun. So yeah, let's get back to it. I just finished up this little tutorial. It was a fun day. I didn't get much done. I, I can, as you guys saw, you can add a reminder and complete them. Nothing happens. It's not stored in the database or anything. But I got to see how Swift is compared to Flutter and Swift UI's new way of doing things. So that was pretty fun. I'm probably gonna keep building on this tutorial and just see where it goes. Um, and then after that, I'll play with styling and see how it is compared to Flutter also. I don't like being niched into a cross-platform tech like Flutter, so I still like to know like some kind of either native mobile or you know React or some web technology, you know, just in case. The cross-platform stuff, they kind of go up and down, so I like to have one of these in the back of my pocket. But now, I'm going to go for a little workout. I might shoot some clips of that too, so if you want to see that, hang out, but otherwise, 
appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out more videos. I'm going to try to finish up some of these apps in my next few videos. So we'll see how that goes. Peace. So I was pleasantly surprised with how much fun I had with Swift. There's some stuff that I don't understand, like sometimes I need to dig into it, but sometimes when I create a component, I put parentheses and then sometimes I put a bracket and like a method and I don't understand when to do which one. So if you know Swift, just throw a comment explaining to your boy which one means what. Oof. I think I'm gonna do a little full body today, but my legs, I needed them to grow. So I hit them quite a bit, because so I'm gonna try to do some leg press today. I know God got me, he got my back. These blessings falling in my lap. I came up, give it all I had. Rep my city, put them on my back. Hit my shots, I'm in stone. Straight up, I'ma let them know I don't fall. Make it look easy and they know. There's only one way for us to go. Can't hold me back, I'm going way up. Tell them they can never play up. No. Ain't no stopping me now, no. Ain't no stopping me now, no. Ain't no stopping me, ain't no stopping me, ain't no stopping me now, no. Yeah, straight in my lane when they got it, I make it. I know that they mad when I swear by the lot. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'm gonna keep trying to experiment with the type of videos I put out. Like, I'm trying to do, see what you guys like. This one's like a vlog type. So, let me know what you guys want to see more of, you know? Do you want to see tutorials and stuff? I'm trying to figure out what videos you guys enjoy the most of that I also enjoy making. I really enjoy making these day in the life vlog slash follow me and code along videos. So yeah, but sign up for the betas for my apps and stuff. They're in the description and yeah.